57. That's us. 57, please. Nine Lives by Varjak Paul. Did you ever read it? It's absolutely marvelous. No, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, you should. He wrote it.
I could find a real life place that made you feel like to please them. And I'd buy some furniture and give the cat a name. I'm sorry you wanted something. Oh. Now that indeed is a remarkable piece of information to have at your fingertips. I keep track of these things. I could never have done it without you. So, oh, honey, that is you. That is you. Fred, darling, I'm so glad you could come. I brought you a house present. <coughs> Something in the book. Oh, you're sweet. Doesn't that look nice? Two seconds. One second. To the ovens. Too low, too pale, too heavy, too low, too high. You are exaggerating. Fair, so so, slappy. Mm. Superb. My dear Baron, you have not lost your touch. Much too low. I don't know what happened. I will tell you what happened. Uh, you forgot to turn on the oven. Oh! I... I'm taking the plane home on Friday, Father. You needn't pick me up at the airport. I'll just take the Long Island Railroad, and you can meet me at the train. The 415. <laughs> if you should have any difficulty recognizing your daughter, I shall be the most sophisticated woman at the Glen Cove station. I know Margaret wrote me. Real Napoleon brandy. And this is for you to wear on your day off. But then you don't care? Not too much. After all, he's not married yet. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of it. But don't you see, Father, everything has changed? Uh, nothing has changed. He's still David Larrabee, and you're still the chauffeur's daughter. And you're still reaching for the moon. No, Father. The moon's reaching for me. You did order champagne, didn't you? What are you doing here? You sure you won't have even one? No, thanks. You must be hungry. I hadn't thought about it. Well, I'm starved. I was sort of saving myself for 21 tonight. I've spoiled your evening, haven't I? No, you haven't. We can have dinner right here. Let's see what Miss McCardle is hoarding. Probably maraschino cherries and stale crackers. All right. The meeting of the board of directors of the Larrabee Industries will now come to order. As the chairman of the board, I would like to say at the outset, the chairman is so dizzy. of those children. Look at all these gadgets. Just imagine, you press a button and factories go up. Or you pick up a telephone and a hundred tankers set out for Persia. Oh, I believe it. You know what I almost did because of sentimental reasons? I... I went to Paris to blot it out. Maybe you should go to Paris, Linus. To Paris? It helped me a lot. Have you ever been there?
spine stays mainly in the plain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Didn't I say that? No, Eliza, you didn't sigh that. You didn't even say that. But every night before you get to bed where you used to say your prayers, I want you to say the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain 50 times. Again, Eliza. How kind of you to let me come. How kind of you to let me come. No, no kind of you, kind of you, kind. How kind of you to let me come. I know you're tired. I know your nerves are as raw as meat in a butcher's window. But think what you're trying to accomplish. Just think what you're dealing with. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Again. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. By George, she's got it. I tell you, you look absolutely. What's the matter? I, I don't know. And you're very, very happy. Why am I so happy? Because I say you are. Great. That's great. A star. Wonderful. Now, Joe, give me the words. Heartbreak. Longing. Tragic. Now turn around. Fa now go, go, go. You're furious at Tristan. A fish. I want you to look like you're fishing. I'm trying, but I've never fished before. That's pretend you caught a fish. Pull it out. All right, Joe. Now here's what I want you to be. I know. You've outgrown me. He's your Prince Charming, isn't he? Well, get happy. Oh, oh, good, fabulous. I can't help take the picture. in the world was inside the church and relax a while. We've been working too hard. Working together every day. I'll model. Good. Well, we'll put you to work. It's the day you've been dreaming of all your I love to love. How did the wedding pictures go? Wonderfully. Yes, she's a be love. You gotta be happy. When you can be Make up and stay here with you. Don't be skinny thief. Throw a little old wet blanket on it. Darling, her. guess what this is. You'll never guess. Tell him that. Well, let's forget and get this thing over. It's not the time or place. But before you move. Helen, so that's what you've been talking about.
Good morning, Ariane. Good morning, Papa. What time is it now? 9.15. Why do you keep asking? Mangiate che tu sei di notte, gelato? Gelato? Gelato. that I've spent all this time crying over you and carrying on and swallowing things like that girl in Venice. was surprised to hear from you. Surprised and pleased, Miss Buck. Please, no names. Colonel Pickering, you're just in time for tea. Thank you, Mrs. Higgins. May I introduce Miss Eliza Doolittle? My dear Miss Doolittle. How kind of you to let me come. Delighted, my dear. Great agent, he knows a terrific lot of phone numbers. What's Jerry Wall's phone number, OJ? Oh, come on, lay off. Darling, man. I want you to call him and tell him what a genius Fred is. Yes, I got it. Stop blushing, Fred. You didn't say you were a genius, I did. So quit stalling, OJ. Just tell me what you're going to do to make Fred rich and famous. Now, why don't you let Fred baby me settle that matter, huh, puppy? Okay, but just remember, I'm the agent. He's already got a decorator. I'm the agent.